Timfu, Bhutan's capital, is home to a hundred thousand inhabitants. One seventh of the total population of this country, no bigger than Switzerland. One of the busiest shops in Timfu is a store for monks. <laughs> Kempo is a professor of Buddhist philosophy in Dramitse. He uses a brief stay in the capital to buy some gifts for the monastery's 70 monks. Kempo and his friend Karma would like to buy a more prestigious gift for the Rinpoche, the spiritual leader of Dramitsa. These cloth paintings, called tankas, represent Buddhist deities and are used as aids in meditation. In Bhutan, the government sponsors and encourages the teaching of traditional arts. These trades are thriving and are being handed down to a growing number of students. Kempo and Karma bought their tanker, the students also learn how to make dance masks. At Bhutan's Institute of Language and Cultural Studies, Kempo participated in a mission funded by UNESCO to save the mask dance of Dramitse. The institute took on the colossal work of documenting the dance in order to ensure that it passed on in its most complete form. Yannick Juris and her team are about to complete a book and film that will be distributed in every school throughout the kingdom. Yeah. This Dramitsi Natcham is unique to Bhutan. I okay. think it belongs to Bhutan. Other dances, I think, has been impo uh, coming from Tibet. Oh. But this, uh, this dance is specific to Bhutan and has been, I mean, born in Bhutan. Kempo found some ancient manuscripts that allow him to trace back to the dancer's origins. Oh. Oh. 
In the midst of the rainy season, it will take Kempo and Karma three days on the road to reach Dramitse. Kempo and Karma arrive at one of the largest fortresses in Bhutan, Punaka. Karma, who works as a guide, is particularly fond of this highlight of Bhutanese architecture. To the left of Buddha Sakyamuni, the historical Buddha, we once again find Padmasambhava, the beloved great master, also known as Guru Rinpoche. Karma has a special request for him. He'd like to go back to school follow the Buddhist path and find a master who can teach him to meditate. Kempo is moved by Karma's interest and decides to show him the place where he'll soon retire on a three-year retreat. This retreat is part of Buddhist initiation. One day, Every dancer from Dramitse will have to follow in Kempo's footsteps. Though Kempo must take a vow of silence, he is in no way shut off from the world in some cave. He takes his friend to the place of his retreat, a small dwelling where another monk is staying at present. Karma hopes to be able to go on a retreat one day as well. He's curious to know what such an inner journey is like. 
That makes 4,000 prostrations a day, an exhausting physical ordeal, the most difficult part of the retreat. The only person Kempo will be allowed to speak to during the three-year period is his spiritual master. Thank mm -hmm. you.